Hello guys and uh, welcome back to another chapter in my DIY analog synthesizer project videos. Now this is just just kind of a bit of a progress update really. Um, so basically what I have here is a front panel design. Obviously this is not the final front panel but for me I thought it would be very worthwhile to actually try and prototype it on a cheaper, a much cheaper material first before we actually start doing the real thing, just to make sure everything works and the layout kind of makes sense, as you can see. So yeah, so it pretty much follows a uh, a pretty much standard synthesizer, um, standard synthesizer format. We basically have your your oscillators, and you have here we have your filters, and we have a VCA. And down here we have modul most of the modulation going on, uh, i.e. the uh, vibrato, two LFOs with which we will have um, five different waveforms: ramp up, ramp down, square, triangle, and sine. We've we're, we're going to have toggle switches on these ones. Some of the holes here are missing. They have the um, there will be toggle switches to go on or off, some will be up and down in certain places like here for instance and the envelope generators for modulation and on the end here we have the cores. so yeah so as I said nothing too fancy here just to sort of make sure I sort of could get things in and sort of get the controls the controls in a sort of reasonable finger space I've got quite big hands quite big fingers so that really helps me I mean it has got a quite a big footprint and I just thought you know what it's it's big, it's that proper sort of old school 1970s unapologetic look, which, yeah, very much sort of inspired by the Roland SH, the older SH series, i.e. the SH7 and the SH5, I think. And, yeah, and quite a few other synthesizers, to be honest with you, things like the the, the Matrix Brute, etc. I mean, it's, it's this is purely analogue, there's no... Digital, there's no presets. I have not got that sophisticated and clever yet. This is my first project. I'm not an engineer. I haven't been doing this for very long, to be honest with you. But yeah, but I'm quite pleased with 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 where I've got. And as we can see here, like I said, there's we have made sure there's spacings for holes and made sure it's all labelled. And obviously, we're going to have the kind of um, what do you call it? can't think of the word for it actually well basically you know the sort of the settings around the dial so you know where you are the sort of calibration points etc mark the calibration markers going around so I just need to make sure I've got enough space to put in that and put the wording in for well I'll try and get this um properly done by someone I'm not too familiar with front panel designing software again it's something I may have to try and learn or if anybody out there who wouldn't mind having a go for me hit me up Drop a drop a message on the comments that comments that would be really appreciated. And yeah, like I said, not had a lot to tell from here. And again, what I've done, if we look here, this is the actual case. That is the casing there, which has the slanted edges, slanted edge to it. So this front panel basically will sit on here and probably get it to open like a car bonnet. This top bit position here, what I propose to do is have that as a patch panel. So we have our ins and voltage CVs in, CVs out, gate, etc., etc. And I could actually pretty much dump the whole breadboard circuits in here and it will fit in nicely and get a power supply in then there. Get a power supply in and probably a few bits more, to be honest with you. So, but yeah, it's all sort of, again, this is a prototype, as I've said, just to see how it all works out before I start getting serious and uh, we'll start putting the uh, more expensive materials in. So, anyway, thank you for watching, guys. There'll be more tutorials, schematics and circuits tutorials, etc. from me. And I will, yeah, catch you guys soon. All right, thanks for watching, people, and take it easy. Give me a like if you like this. Um, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to leave comments and any questions that you need answering, etc. Thank you.